Maham uh, Pasha from Longchamp is here and Longchamp is inviting the students to design a window uh, inspired in the idea of Parisian cafes. Uh, hey Maham, uh, Hi. Do you do you want to explain a little bit more maybe in two words what is your take on this and how teachers uh, or students can do a better project for, to apply for Longchamp? Sure. Um... So uh, the goal for this project is to see what concepts um, the students can come up with for our next windows for fall 22. Um, the inspiration that I provided um, came from HQ in Paris, and that is, um, you know, just to provide a genuine um, feeling of a Parisian cafe. And, you know, again, we want clients to walk by or ourselves to walk by and feel like we are having a croissant or um, you know, a cappuccino in Paris in a, in a local um, cafe. Um, and really the main inspiration behind it is because uh, of course we're a Parisian brand. Um, and if any of us have ever seen any shows or visited Paris, we know there's a cafe at every corner. Um, so it is really, really big part of the lifestyle and um, again, of who we are. And last year we did a couple of pop-ups with cafes um, in some of our stores and they were really um, <clears throat> excuse me, successful. So we kind of wanted to, um, you know, see how we can also bring that into our windows across all stores um, globally. And um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty simple. Um, I think if you're a student and you want to see where to start, again, I would highly suggest, um, you know, doing some basic image search of what Parisian cafes look like and um, I, I also shared some inspiration in the deck with um, with the Windows Red team as well so hopefully that helps um, and really just picture yourself either as a local or as a tourist and what that might feel like for you to be in there and how you would want that experience to be um, when you're when you're visiting a Parisian cafe. Awesome Maham has provided uh, a deck uh, of set of pictures and uh, some inspiration uh, for this project that you guys can find on windowsware.com slash mentorship slash longchamp. Uh, and there is uh, all these documents <laughs> you can get inspired from. Thank you so much, uh, Maham. Um, Gio from Coach is here. Uh, and Gio, one more time, Coach is inviting uh, students to create a specific project, uh, this time uh, about the metaverse. So I will let Giovanni Saccarello speak about what was this, uh, how this came about and what does he and his team expect from uh, these projects? Hi everybody. Um, I think the, the kind of role of creative coach has kind of been evolving over the last few years. And I think the first year where we did this with Windows where it was all about Windows. And I think last year we kind of moved more into pop-ups and uh, we're actually doing many less windows a coach and we're kind of moving more into experiential and that's why I kind of kind of left the brief a little bit broad this year uh, because you know the metaverse world is still very gray to many and it's kind of an area that you know maybe the even the younger generation actually knows more than I do at this point so it's really for me about learning from this group and other students that will apply uh, around you know what would the metaverse look like for coach knowing that coach is a very brand is you know is a brand really rooted in history every and craft so for some people even internally when you think about metaverse it's like wait why is coach doing that you know there's so there's so much history here and they're trying to be modern like what is this so i think really understanding how you guys think about this dichotomy and this kind of contradiction between past present and future i think that's definitely what i want to see in some of the projects but in terms of in terms of what we want to see, I think as much as it's quite broad, I think we'll love to see some kind of design that comes in. And I know in the past we have seen um, little videos, little clips, little sketches. So I think for me, I would love to keep it open um, because I think, you know, the other thing that we want to celebrate is, you know, your individuality, your individual take onto the creative. But um, I ended that quote on Windows where I saying dream big and uh, uh, really want to learn from you guys about, you know, I'm sure you guys are into the gaming world more than I do and every day. Uh, so yeah, we see it as an, you know, like, as a value exchange really between us as coach and you guys, students uh, in your, in your own world and your own life. So, uh, but I can take some questions at the end. I know the topic is still new for most. So, uh, but I hope that was helpful. 
Amazing. Thank you, Gio. Yeah, we'll take some uh, questions uh, in a second. Um, and we also have here uh, Chris Holton from Kate Spade. Uh, and that again, uh, they're joining the mentorship program with us and we're excited because they have a project about the retail experience and the brand experience at Kate Spade. So I'll let Chris Holton to uh, speak a little bit more and tell us what she and her team expect from the students this time. Thanks, Raul. Hi, guys. Um, so this year, um, kind of similar to Gio, uh, as mentioned in at Coach, we're taking a little bit of a broader approach. Um, we are in, as a brand, in a transformation um, and really looking back at our heritage and our unique positioning of the Kate Spade brand. Um, I mentioned we, we look at, we speak about perfectly imperfect a lot and really um, weave that into our product stories and how our VM layers into our stores. Um, with the changing lamps, landscape of retail. Um, we talk a lot about digital and experiential layers of that. Um, so that that is kind of where um, very broad strokes. Um, if you're thinking about the brand, the heritage of the Kate Spade brand and thinking about what what would it, the experiential or kind of layer immersive layer look like in the future. Um, uh, you know, Coach and Geo has done a lot of gamification type things. We we often say we're a lo-fi <laughs> brand, so so it's really it's been a challenge for us to really think what what is the modern um, approach to the Kate Spade brand in in a digital sense and immersive immersive sense. Um, and, you know, sparks of joy welcome. We talk about our community is important to Kate Spade. We talk about bringing joy to our customer. That's very in, in the brand heritage and, and narrative that we want to continue with. So um, a very, very unique positioning um, for the brand. So that was, that's kind of Kate Spade. Amazing. Thanks, Chris. Um, and, and starting with Chris again, uh, can the students uh, provide the project in whatever medium they want? Any medium they want. It could be a video, it could be cartoon, it could be anything. We're, we're open to very, um, any ideas. Amazing, same with coach, correct you? Absolutely, you can come as an avatar from what I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Maham at Longchamp, um, what would be the best ways for students to submit the project to you and the brand? Um, I mean, that, uh, like we spoke about, definitely need some 3D rendering. Um, so file okay. format for us to review that. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. And we're going to respond to some questions that I think uh, <laughs> uh, Balde had a question before. And I said, do you want me, do you want, you can mute yourself, I think. Uh, and if not, you can type in the chat and I can say the question out loud, whatever you prefer. One second. Yeah, hi. Um, my question, um, sorry for the delay. Um, my question uh, was that uh, whether the project is also available for alumni because I have uh, recently just finished my studies, so I was not um, um, secure whether I could take part in the project, in the projects or not. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, for what I believe, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, this project is uh, available for students or recent graduates with less than three years of experience in the field. Um, is that correct, Gio, Chris, and Maham? I mean, I think from our side, I'll let Diana speak more to that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say something that I shouldn't say. So maybe Diana and Larry will definitely. They've worked a lot with the legal team to understand what what's possible. So. Yeah. I'll lean on them for any specifics on that. Let me check the terms and conditions. I yeah. just looked at them the other day. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that portion, but I do believe last time we had um, a limit. So while I look at this, do you want to jump yeah, into any other questions? Yeah. We'll continue, Vanessa, and get back to you. 
<clears throat> yeah, okay. I'll confirm back with our HR team as well and get back to you. All right, thanks. Okay, I have found it. <laughs> uh, so the challenge is not open to students who have more than three, who have more than three years of experience working as a professional designer. Yes. So Vanessa, if you are just, uh, you, you just graduated and you have less than three years of experience, you're more than welcome to apply uh, for the coach mentorship program and as well for the Gates Spade mentorship program. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, does anybody else have a question that I would like us to respond? Um, again, the deadline to submit these projects is April 11, uh, and the winners will be announced on April 25th uh, on Windows Wear uh, social media and as well the LinkedIn pages of uh, the brands uh, that are participating this time. Um, Gio, uh, do you, will you, or somebody on your team, would you like to explain uh, what it will entail uh, the first prize and the second prize? Because you guys are all coaches offering two paid internships during the summer in New York City. So what uh, the winner can expect to do uh, in this ex experience? Yes, yeah, so um, based on the success of the last two internships this year, we are excited to actually have two people join uh, the coach 3D student actually I have Joanna on my team here, uh, but we also have another designer in the team, Rachel is on maternity leave right now, but she will be back um, when the interns will join. And the idea will be that each of them will be dedicated to one of the uh, 3D teams uh, based in New York and really work on all projects, whether it's windows, pop-up, showroom, installations, all kind of experiences that we do. Um, uh, we had we have some of the older interns that actually want to come back. Uh, so uh, definitely, if you join the coach team, you're going to be incredibly, incredibly busy. And I think each day is going to be a different day. So people ask me, what is a day in a life of what someone like Joanna does? And maybe, Jay, you want to give a little bit of a hint, but every day is different, really. And um, the number of projects is incredibly high. And I think it's really a creative, it's really a creative world. Um, and again, it spans across projects that are in North America, Asia, you know, Europe. So you'll be part of a really a global team, um, not just because we do global project, but the team is actually, as much as they're based in New York, they all come from different parts of the world. Um, so uh, we rely a lot on that. So um, Jay, I don't know if you want to add something. I know you were able to join today from your perspective, because it'll be very close to you and your team. Hi everyone. I think Gio said it all, to be honest, like never, it's never a dull moment here at Coach. So we're definitely scales at various sizes of projects. Um, and yeah, I think the scope of work, like G mentioned, could be from windows, um, install activations to pop-ups to technical detailing, 3D modeling, um, some of the not fancy things, but we also do um, and the team as well. Amazing. I can say for a fact that they're, the coach team is very fun. So you, anybody who will join the team is they're in for a treat. Uh, Maham, what the winner uh, can expect uh, from this experience uh, with you and your team at Longchamp? Um, so very similar to coach. Um, as you know, it's a, we, we have a very small team here. So we are all kind of very hands-on. Um, so that goes in the day-to-day -day VM in the stores, but um, we're actually at a really exciting point for the brands where we are changing our global, um, you know, uh, rebranding as a whole scale uh, on a larger scale. Um, so our new store openings are coming up, which means it's a whole new design um, where it's a lot of training development, um, project management. We have events coming up, so it's pop-ups, it's, you know, whether this person would fly to the West Coast with us for an event or a pop-up that's coming up or in our Miami location or here. So um, again, day-to-day -day varies, um, but it's all very exciting for us. I think the most fun part is that it's not, not one day is the same. So if you're the type of person that likes excitement and gets bored easily, you will definitely not be bored here. Um, there's definitely a lot of things happening. And I think one of the great things about being at Longchamp is the fact that, you know, in the U.S., yes, we have, um, you know, plenty of different offices and teams, but yet it's still very small where we do cross 
um, you know, function with each other. And, you know, I support my team supports the marketing team, buying team. So, you know, this person really get exposed to all the different aspects of the business and all that it takes. And, um, you know, most importantly, learn what it what it really means to be a successful VM in the business. And you really do need to know all the different parts that, uh, you know, go into making your world work. Perfect. Thank you, Maham. And I, to clarify, I know uh, that the mentorship that uh, you and Longchamp are offering is in person in New York City. So that is to be yes. clarified. Perfect. Amazing. Yes, in person in New York City. Amazing. Every day. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Chris uh, from Kate Spade or anybody on your team, what the students can uh, expect from working with you aside from like a pink, a totally pink and funky world. Uh, what else can they We're moving away from pink, Raul. Okay, good to know. <laughs> In the past for us, so uh, <laughs> into a very green world. Um, yeah, I think similar to Maham and, and Gio, um, every day is different. Um, I think that's that's really a visual merchandising creative team's life. Um, Alana is not with us here today, but this this would sit in her team um, and really um, could be anything from 3D windows, 2D windows, um, all of our, we do showroom development and, and takeovers as well as pop-ups. There's uh, a min million projects in 18 seasons at the same time. So there's always something to be done. Um, I think if I if I look at the experience um, from the individual who won last year, um, he was very immersed in the team. Um, Mahomes mentioned the the cross functional piece. It's, it's so true for you to be successful in these roles. They're not isolated. They work with the merchants, and you know, could be planning even like making sure products set a pop up or you know, it's a very you know the product has to be the hero in, in what we do. So it isn't all about the creative it's finding your balance within that and I think um you know the, the the person last year I know he he grew so much and in just a few months it's also the moment he started was it was so fast so um I, I encourage people to enjoy every moment because the two months goes super fast but um that is you know I think they've covered it that's a lot to do a lot to happen and it will be it's all hands on deck on all the time here so it could be you know, in the office setting a window, a 3D mock set up with prototypes, or you could be at home on your computer doing some digital assets. So we're hybrid working. It would not always be in the office. It could be a multi, depending on as needed, unless they really wanted to come in every day. Um, a lot of my creatives love to work from home. So, <laughs> um, so we like a balance. Perfect, amazing. And that is good to clarify that the price, uh... The first and second prize for coach and the first prize for Kate Spade are uh, in a hybrid mode. So they whether they could be in New York City, if that's possible, but also they could be remote if that's what they prefer, uh, which is a fantastic uh, balance for them. Um, okay, does anybody else have a question? Uh, we have about like five minutes left uh, for this meeting. And again, we are uh, live on Instagram. So we also try to take any question from Instagram if somebody has. Uh, and again, Maham and Gio and Chris, is there any, if there's anything that you would like to ask to motivate the students to apply or uh, to not feel shy about it or to feel like, oh, maybe there's a hundred students that apply, why Gio or Chris or Maham will pick me? So um, any kind of like word of advice or motivation is welcome. I think Caitlin has a question. Yes, Caitlin DeLong. Um, so I was wondering, I know that all of this has to be of our own work, um, but how far do you take that? Because like, for example, if I want to do a photo shoot, can I get a friend to photograph it who's experienced in photography or do I need to do that myself? I mean, I would say in my case, if you need to sell the idea, I would do anything to sell your idea. That's like in a real world, right? Like if I'm learning from a friend how to get things done, I mean... I know I would take inspiration from anything. And if your friend is your inspiration, I would just say lean on your friend and, and just win a prize. I think yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. That's just my take on that. I yes. Agree. I think last year, some of the, um, some of the individuals even put at the end, like who helped them in, in yeah. their presentations. Like, you know, we, we talk about 
cross-functional teams because we we lean on people in other departments to help us do our job so i think that that's very real to the real world that's so okay does this go for things like mock-ups as well so if i wanted to mock up a store because i know like my major we're not super familiar with programs to mock up um retail spaces so we'll have like an idea and then in our projects at school we'll like outsource help from other students so is that like allowed so long as we give credit i think that's fine well, yeah, yeah that seems fine for us as well. I mean, in the end of the day, like that's what we do as well. So it's very real and to be expected in the in the field. So that's okay for 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 us. I think Italy, what you're referring is a line that we have in the guidelines um, yeah. that you should be uh, kind of like uh, only your work. That is mostly because you know we don't want you to submit a project by Andy Warhol or something like that. Or if you do a project with three of your friends, you know, you, you know that there's only one winner. So there's only one person that can join yeah. the internet. So that is kind of like where we're going with that one sentence that is in the website. But I will support that as what Gio said, um, that when you need to sell an idea, you're going to get your medium from whatever you can. And you figure it out how to give credit or anything. So okay. um, the only thing that I do want to add to that just for us um, specifically is um, totally fine to have somebody, you know, to outsource um, a 3D mock-up. However, for, for me at least, it is required to have that little bit of a skill set to be able to use some of like the Adobe Suite um, program. So even if it's 2D or if it's something very basic, um, highly recommended um, for, for the participants to know it to, a, to a, a, you know, a certain level. Yes, thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Maham. Perfect. Uh, does anybody else have a question? Uh, we have about three minutes. Uh, and again, the deadline is April 11, and winners will be announced on April 25th. Um, and we're excited to see what everybody creates uh, this year. There's three different projects. There's literally like one for every taste and um, whatever is your uh, strength, you can apply to that one. Whatever is your favorite brand, you can apply to that one. Um, and we'll be looking forward to receive your projects. This time you'll able to submit, you'll be able to submit your projects uh, via Windowsware. Uh, there's uh, kind of like a little form over there on windowsware.com slash mentorship. And it's super easy. You put all your information. It's very important to fill all the information such as name, social media handles, a school that you go, etc. cetera. Uh, and then there's like a button to submit your project, uh, whether it's a PDF, a video, audio, anything that you create. And perfect. So if there's no uh, other question, I want to thank uh, everybody from joining Gio, Maham, Chris, and all your teams at Tapestry. Um, thank you for this. We're excited to uh, see what the students are creating uh, mm -hmm. and we'll be in touch with you. Any question that everybody has, you can email mentorship at windowsworld.com and we'll respond right away. Thanks, everybody. Thank Good you. luck. Thank Good luck, guys. Have, luck. have fun with it. Thank you. Bye. 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 B